Hey everybody, this is Steve with Smitty's Flybox. Today we are going to tie a chubby Chernobyl, a real popular summertime fly, um, a great one uh, to imitate like hoppers or stones. So it, it works well after all the stone hatch, stone fly hatches have come through and the hoppers start hitting beetles, ants. So it's a great for a uh, dry dropper. So just a really good all around summer pattern. So I've started off here with a Daiichi hook, um, about a size 10. I'm gonna, my first thing I'm gonna do is tie in some crystal flash. So I will, I just took about three or four strands right there and just roll those up on top. Tie those back just above the barb of the uh, hook. Let's just fold those back over, double them back over like that. And I'm just gonna get a nice little uh, crystal flash tail out the back. Don't need it too long, maybe about half the length of the hook shank, like that. Okay, now we can, uh, let's take our thread to the eye of the hook. I laid down just a nice little thread base there and it's a good idea now to uh, hit this with a little super glue just to kind of glue this underbody as we go there, like that. What we're going to do is dub from the top back. I know that seems a little strange, uh, but we want to kind of build up a nice underbody. So I've got some good ice dub here, just in kind of an olivey tannish color. And I'm going to dub the thread, load up a pretty decent layer. Um, load up a couple inches of my thread here with a pretty good chunk of dubbing and just try to build a nice dub body going back. You know, you can re really go as thick as you'd like. I'm going to go a little thicker through the uh, midsection there. This is where we'll tie in our foam. So what I've got here is just some nice tan foam. I'm going to, uh, I, I've cut a piece that's you know a little longer than the hook there so there's something hanging out of the front and the back we'll clip that down later but I want to make sure the width is about the hook gap there somewhere in there and that's usually about the right width let's just lay that right down on top and come in here and make two or three good turns right there and almost build just a little uh, segment right there you can kind of see that that space with the thread. Okay, now the first thing we'll do is we're gonna tie in the little chubby wing. So I've got some poly yarn here, some tan colored poly yarn. And uh, again, pretty good little chunk here. This A lot of this is personal preference, really how much fluff you want on there. So, you know, I try to do about the same width as maybe what I, I've dubbed the body. That seems to be about the right amount. And let's just hold that in top there, make two or three good turns, and then we're gonna fold it over. Now, to fold that over, just push forward just a little bit, and it makes a little bubble there. And then you can come down and kind of capture that and then secure that in there like that with two or three good turns. And uh, now we can put on our legs. So let's come in here with a leg on each side. So we're just still working in that little thread base that we created. One, two, three move those where we like them and repeat that on the opposite side one two three get those how we like them and now we'll just come back and dub our way forward to the next one and put a little layer of dubbing over all that and that just seems to kind of clean up and make that all look nice and it'll also get our legs positioned how we like them. So I'm just gonna pull those back legs back, hold that wing, and then come in here with two or three good turns. And now we'll push everything back and just kind of spiral wrap to the next segment. All right, now we're not gonna go right to the eye of the hook. Let's come, uh, I'm trying to position this and, and really make this even here. So let's tie it in about right there two or three eye lengths back. And again, we'll make that same little tag area that we can work with, a little layer right there. Move that thread how we like it. 
and let's repeat the step with the wing. We'll come in here like that. Pull everything back, bubble it forward where we can tie it down. Make three or four good tight wraps right there. And then we'll uh, tie our legs off in front of there. Okay, so let's take the first set. Like so. We'll go with the second set. On the far side. Let's get those laying how we like them there. Okay, a lot of stuff going on there. Now we'll continue with our dubbing. Again, let's load up a little bit more dubbing and, and really come in there pretty tight. So now what I gotta do is I gotta separate those legs. Let's come in here, a couple good wraps over everything like that. Let's pull everything back. And let's just make a bunch of, couple good wraps uh, tied up underneath. Notice I have a little bit of extra dubbing under there. I'm okay with that up top. And now I can do my whip finish. And we'll trim all that off. there all right looks a little messy let's start with our foam let's uh just come right up there even with our uh, eye of our hook sorry i kind of got in the way there like that and let's square that off sometimes you like to leave a little tail out the back um before i go back there let's kind of trim these legs down and everything so they look about right so Somewhere along there, about the same length. And let's take this wing. I like to grab those together there and just really, I'm, what I'm eyeballing is the end of the hook right there. I'm gonna just come up under there about that same. And then I can get in there. Now I can get back here at the back, not trim my uh, foam and just, or my flash, excuse me. Even that up with the uh, yarn. If you really want to get fancy, we can shape that head some and cut those corners down on the back. Trim off any crazy hairs that we might have. And uh, got a pretty solid uh, high floating dry fly that we can twitch around and, and again drop a dropper right off the bend of the hook there and, and uh, that's what the fish see in those legs and, and this gives us a lot of visibility and some buoyancy so great summertime fly you should try it.